Hi, I'm Jeff Rouse. My expert tip is called Platform for Success. So I love being at meetings like this where we see incredible dentistry on a 30 by 10 screen. It's amazing seeing a central incisor that's 10 feet tall. So we've got amazing surgeons doing what? Bone grafting, tissue work, placing implants off of guides, restorative dentists going in and shaping the tissue and creating an illusion of reality in these crowns that is phenomenal. The problem for me was I left here thinking it was about the implant. If I could just do the implant they were promoting and putting it all over the rest of the mouth, I'd be fine. But in San Antonio, I don't get to do number eight every day. I'm doing the back of the mouth, I'm doing overdentures, bars, hybrids. I got all kinds of different things that I'm doing. And what I found was what worked on the big screen wasn't working for me all over the mouth and other places. So I came up with this idea of platform for success, which means that there are three implant platforms and I need to put them where they work best. Now that happens in your life all the time, right? You go out and play golf, you got 14 clubs. If I go fly fishing, if I go to the coast as opposed to a small stream in the woods, I'm gonna use different rods go bird hunting, different shotguns, weather, what kind of bird. And finally, I went and bought some shoes. And they wouldn't let me get out with just, I need tennis shoes. It's, am I hiking? Am I gonna do CrossFit? Am I gonna run? So in every other part of our lives, we take the product and make it fit what we're doing with the product. But in implant dentistry, we have one product and we try to make it fit everywhere that it's supposed to be. So three platforms exist. And so in my restorative practice, we use all three. First platform is what we'll call the Strauman or a one-stage implant, kind of made popular by that group. You place the implant platform level with the tissue, you put a cap on top of it. Once it's healed, you unscrew the cap, that's second stage surgery. There's no cutting, you just unscrew it. And what do you do? You take a solid abutment, put it to place, torque it down, snap a cap on it, make an impression. Strong, easy, perfect. Take that same implant and put it in number eight, like we saw on the screen, it's gonna be a dismal failure. You're gonna see the metal around the edge and you'll never get the emergent profiles that we see on the main stage at Seattle Study Club. It doesn't happen. So where is that implant placed? It's placed in the back of the mouth. Mandibular posterior teeth are perfect for it. Maxillary posterior teeth, a lot of times are the ideal place for those as well. Second implant platform is the one we see all the time, number eight, right? It's the internally hex design. And the reason it's so good is because you can correct angles with custom abutments and still have the strength of the abutment because it's sunk inside of the implant. You get positive seating, lots of advantages to it. The biggest one is aesthetics. So if you've got a place where you need aesthetics, you need an internally hexed implant. Maxillary anterior teeth, mandibular anterior teeth, that's perfect. Or maxillary posterior teeth where aesthetics is gonna be a part of the equation. Third implant platform becomes really important though. And it was highlighted to me when I started doing cases with bars or hybrids that were on internally hexed implants. You see the minute you have multiple implants, they don't draw with one another. So you can't take advantage of the internal hex part. You then are flat on flat and the screw, the torque on the screw is tremendous. The whole prosthesis moves as you actually seat it. Internally hem hexed implants are the wrong implant for that situation. You go old school you go external hex. You see the old Brandemark implant works perfectly here because every company's got one. You don't have to put your surgeon out. They can find it with any company that they're working with. They also make parts for it all the time. You're never waiting for back ordered parts. And every milling system or any new nuance that comes out always is fitted for that external hex. It's the PC versus the Mac of the implant world. So. External hex works there, and it works there for one big reason. When you torque down the first implant and it's in connected with the rest, that external hex provides a resistance to the torquing effect, taking the load off the screw the way that you want. So, when you go back to the office, you gotta think about what platform is gonna make me most successful. Who directs that? The restorative dentist, in my opinion. I tell them what's gonna be best for what I'm doing with the case afterwards. So I hope that platform idea provides you some success.